والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله نوينا لله تعالى We start with the name of Allah We praise and thank Allah for the endowments he gave without it being an obligation and we ask Allah to raise the rank of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and protect his nation from what he feared for it Thereafter we correct our intentions for the sake of Allah only كما أذكركم بمعنى إخلاص النيات لله تعالى وهو العمل بالطاعة لله وحده فننوي في قلوبنا أننا نستمع إلى درس الدين طالبين الثواب من الله تعالى فقط As the shaykh reminds you of the meaning of the sincerity which is doing the deeds for the sake of Allah only in obedience to Allah only so we correct our intentions we correct our intentions in our hearts that we are listening to the religious knowledge lesson uh, seeking reward from Allah the exalted only اليوم ان شاء الله تعالى نشرع في تفسير سوره الجن today god willing we will begin <laughs> mentioning the meanings of the chapter of the quran al jin بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أوحي إلي أنه استمع نفر من الجن فقالوا إنا سمعنا قرآنا عجبا قل أي قل يا محمد لأمتك أوحي إلي أنه استمع نفر من الجن استمع إليه جماعة من الجن لا يزيدون على العشرة فقالوا لقومهم إنا سمعنا قرآنا عجبا عجيبا بديعا لا يشبه سائر الكتب لا يشبه سائر الكتب في حسن نظمه وصحة معانيه And after mentioning بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, Allah the Exalted revealed in the first verse uh, Say, O Muhammad, to your nation That a group of jinn A group not uh, more than ten Of the jinn listened to him To the recitation of the Quran A Quran, uh, the Quran which is uncommon Which is not something normal uh, that is unequaled, unparalleled in uh, its eloquence and uh, the and its uh, meanings and the uh, correctness uh, of its meanings. والجن خلق من خلق الله سبحانه وتعالى مستترون عنا لا نراهم فيهم الذكور وفيهم الإناث. And the jinn are a type of creation among the creations of Allah that are hidden from us. Normally, we do not see them. And the jinn, there are males among them and females. 
وهم يتوالدون يتزاوجون ويتوالدون and the jinn they do uh, marry and they do have offspring وابوهم هو ابليس and the forefather of the jinn is uh, iblis wa fihim al mu'minuna wa fihim al kafirun and there are muslim jinn and non muslim jinn wa aslu khilqatihim min nar min marij min nar min lahib al nar al safi and the origin of their bodies of their structures is from the uh, pure flame of fire. فجاءت هذه الآية فيها بيان أن الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم مرة نزل في مكان وكان يصلي ويقرأ القرآن فجاء جماعة واستمعوا إلى قراءته. And uh, what is mentioned in this verse, the story behind it, is that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on one occasion uh, was in a certain place and he began to he began to pray and he was reciting the Quran in his prayer and a group of the jinn uh, came listening to him. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam met with them. ثم جاءت الآيات يهدي إلى الرشد يعني هذا أيضا من كلامهم الله سبحانه وتعالى أنزل هذه الآيات فيها بيان لما قالوا أيضا مبينا ما قالوه يهدي إلى الرشد فآمنا به ولن نشرك بربنا أحدا يدعو إلى التوحيد والإيمان فآمنا به بالقرآن وآمنا بالله سبحانه وتعالى وبرسوله ولن نشرك به أحدا لن نعبد مع الله سبحانه وتعالى أحدا. And in the second verse, Allah revealed more of what those jinn had said, and so they said that the Quran it guides to the belief in the oneness of God, and it guides to the true, the correct belief and faith. And thus we believed in it, we believed in Allah, and we believed in the Messenger of Allah, and we believed in the Qur'an, and we do not associate any partner with our Lord. وَأَنَّهُ تَعَالَى جَدُّ رَبِّنَا مَتَّخَذَ صَاحِبَةً وَلَا وَلَدَا مَتَّخَذَ صَاحِبَةً تَعَالَى جَدُّ رَبِّنَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala تنزه عن صفات النقصان جد ربنا معناه عظمة ربنا ما اتخذ صاحبة ولا ولدا الله سبحانه وتعالى لا يوصف بالزوجة ولا يوصف بالولد الله سبحانه وتعالى العظيم and those jinn they said that Allah the exalted is clear of any attributes of deficiency and that he is uh, our great Lord and that he is not attributed with any spouse or offspring. وَأَنَّهُ كَانَ يَقُولُ سَفِيهُنَا عَلَى اللَّهِ شَطَطَا أولاً سبحان الله كان يعني يوجد بين المشركين من كان ينسب إلى الله سبحانه وتعالى الولد وجد النصارى كانوا يقولون عيسى ابن الله وكان أيضا فرقة من اليهود يقولون عزير هو ابن الله وكان المشركون يقولون الملائكة بنات الله and the sheikh is mentioning that there were people in the past there were people who attributed offspring to Allah. Some among the uh, idol worshippers, and of course the Christians, they attributed a son to Allah. And some of the Jews, they believed that Ezra was the son of God. And uh, some of the idol worshippers 
used to say that the angels are the daughters of God. والله سبحانه وتعالى منزه عن ذلك كله. And Allah the Exalted is uh, and Allah is exalted that is clear of being attributed with all of that. وأنه كان يقول سفيهنا يعني الشيطان إبليس على الله شططا كفرا كبيرا. And in the fourth verse. Uh, those Allah revealed that those jinn said that Iblis used to say uh, some very extreme blasphemy. وأنه كان يقول سفيهنا على الله شططا كان يقول الكفر ما علمهم إلا الكفر ما دلهم على الصواب. Iblis did not teach them except blasphemy. Iblis did not guide them to what is correct. And that is, Iblis used to teach them that Allah the Exalted had offspring. And that is, معناه ما كانوا يظنون أن أحدا سيفتري على الله ويقول الله تعالى له ولد له ابن ويكون كاذبا. And those jinn, they did not previously believe that anyone would lie about Allah saying that he had offspring but actually being lying about it. فلذلك كنا نصدقهم هذا معنى كلامهم. And so for that reason, when that was told to them, they believed it. But it became clear to them that this is a blasphemous error, and so they went away from it, they rejected it. كذب سمعوه من القرآن الكريم. And you know, they rejected that when they heard the Quran, and it became clear from uh, for them from what they heard in the Quran that what they had been told was a lie. وأنهم ظنوا وعفوا وأنه كان رجال من الإنس يعوذون برجال من الجن. فزادوهم رهقا كان الرجل من العرب إذا نزل في مكان يخاف فيه من أن يتسلط عليه أحد كان يقول أعوذ بسيد هذا الوادي من سفهائه And in the sixth verse Allah revealed about how a man if a man from the Arabs would uh, would stop off in a place that he feared that he might be attacked in that place, he would say uh, a statement meaning I seek refuge with the yeah. that Arab would say, I seek refuge with the master of this valley from the, uh, the fools that are in it. No. وأنه كان رجال من الإنس يعوذون برجال من الجن يقولون أعوذ بسيد هذا الوادي من السفهاء الذين هم فيه فزادوهم رهقا معناه الجن عندما صار يحدث هذا زادهم ذلك طغيانا وتكبرا حتى قالوا نحن صرنا أسيادا على الجن والإنس. So those those men were seeking refuge with the jinn of that area, and when they did that, the jinn increased in their sinfulness and in their arrogance, saying that we have become the masters of the jinn and the humans. أو أن الجن زادوا الإنس رهقا 
لأنهم يعني إثما لأنهم كانوا يجعلونهم يستعيذون بهم. Uh, and another interpretation is that the jinn increased those humans in their sinfulness because they had them seek refuge with them. يعني كانوا يقولون نسأل سيد هذا الوادي أن يحفظنا أن يجيرنا من السفهاء الذين في هذا الوادي. So those men, those Arabs used to say, we ask the master of this valley to protect us from the fools that are in this valley. وَأَنَّهُمْ ظَنُّوا كَمَا ظَنَنْتُمْ أَلَّا يَبْعَثَ أَلَّا يَبْعَثَ اللَّهُ أَحَدًا معناه الجن أيضا كان فيهم من لم يؤمن بالله تعالى لما لم يؤمن بالبعث كما أنه يوجد في الإنس من لا يؤمن بالبعث and in the seventh verse, Allah revealed that the jinn, there were those among the jinn who did not believe in resurrection, just as there were those among the humans who did not believe in resurrection. لكن بعد ذلك آمنوا يعني في الأول كانوا مثلكم لا يؤمنون بيوم البعث لكن بعد ذلك آمنوا فهل آمنتم كما آمنوا؟ But then after that. Among the jinn, there are those who did believe. They began to believe in resurrection. So, as if saying, then why won't you believe? Or won't you believe also? السماء يعني توجهوا قاصدين أن يسترقوا السمع الأخبار من الملائكة. And in the eighth verse, Allah revealed that those jinn they had sought the skies. That is, they directed themselves towards the heavens, seeking to eavesdrop upon the angels to hear what they were talking about. فوجدناها ملئت حرسا شديدا وشهبا كانوا يتوجهون إلى السماء فإذا بالسماء قد امتلأت بالحرس الشديد كانوا يحرسونها ويمنعون من يصعد ليسترق السماء يرمونهم بالشهب الشهب هي عبارة الشهاب هو عبارة عن شعلة عن شعلة نار محرقة Those jinn, they used to direct themselves towards the skies to eavesdrop. And then they found that the skies were filled with uh, very strong guards among the, no. from among the angels. And those angels used to uh, launch the shuhub at them, throw the shuhub at them. And, a sh and these uh, shuhub... Uh, it's an expression mean talking about uh, a spark, a something that comes from fire that would burn them. كانوا يصعدون جهة السماء فيسترقون السمع من الملائكة الذين هم في الغمام. And in the ninth verse, Allah revealed that those jinn said that they that before the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام was sent, those jinn they used to uh, elevate, ascend up uh, close to the skies to listen to the angels that were in the clouds. وكانوا يسترقون السماء وينزلون به إلى الكهان. And they used to eavesdrop on those angels and then descend down to the soothsayers, those who claim to get uh, news of the unseen. فمن يستمع الآن معناه بعد مبعث الرسول عليه الصلاة والسلام يجد له شهابا رصدا يجد له شهابا يتبعه 
يحرقه يقتله أو يخبله يجننه um, but after the prophet alayhi salatu was salam was sent with his message the jinn that would ascend to Eve's drop would uh, be uh, targeted and hit with a shihab, which are these uh, sparks of the flame that would follow them and hit them and either kill them or drive them insane. <laughs> أو يجننه ثم جاءت الآية وأن لا ندري أشر أريد بمن في الأرض أم أراد بهم ربهم رشدا يعني بعد أن انقطع عن هذا الأمر هل هذا أراد الله تعالى بأهل الأرض شرا بمعنى سيكون عليهم بلاء كبير أم أراد بهم ربهم رشدا and then after they were prevented from their eavesdropping, they wouldn't know about one, what Allah the Exalted will for them. Was it that they would uh, have a severe situation or that uh, they would find a lot of goodness and mercy from Allah? ومنا دون ذلك يقولون منا الصالحون ومنا غير الصالحين أيضا. And in the eleventh verse, those jinn said that there are pious uh, jinn among us, and there are other than pious jinn among us as well. يعني من يؤدي الواجبات ويشنب المحرمات يصل إلى التقوى سواء كان من الإنس أو الجن. And that is, the one who fulfills the obligations and avoids all of the sins will arrive and achieve a piety, will arrive at and achieve piety, whether they were among the humans or the jinn. And also there are enormously sinful jinn, just as there are enormously sinful humans. كنا طرائق قددا طرائق قددا معناه كنا ذوي مذاهب مختلفة متفرقة وأديان مختلفة أيضا And those jinn Allah revealed in this verse that they said that they were upon different methodologies and uh, different uh, religions as well هكذا حال الجن يوجد فيهم المسلمون ويوجد فيهم النصارى واليهود وغير ذلك. And that's the situation of the jinn. There are Muslims among them and there are Christians among them and other than that. وأنا ظننا أن لن نعجز أن لن نعجز الله تعالى في الأرض ولن نعجزه هربا. لن نفلت من الله سبحانه وتعالى لا في الأرض ولا أينما ذهبنا uh, in the 12th verse, those, uh, Allah revealed that those jinns admitted that we cannot escape what Allah the Exalted willed for us, uh, not on earth. Uh, uh, not on earth, nor if we uh, fled to the skies. قادر على كل شيء وهذا دليل على قوة إيمانهم. And that is the admittance of those jinn that Allah the Exalted uh, has power over everything and this is an indication of the strength of their faith. 
وأن لما سمعنا الهدى يعني القرآن آمنا به فمن يؤمن بربه فلا يخاف بخسا ولا رهقا لا يخاف أن ينقص من ثوابه ولا رهقا يعني أن يكون ذليلا يوم القيامة And in the 13th verse, Allah revealed that those jinns said that they heard the Qur'an and they believed in it. And thus the one who believes in Allah the Exalted would not fear that his reward would be diminished, nor would he fear being uh, degraded on the Day of Judgment. <laughs> وهذا دليل أيضا على صحة إيمانهم. And this is uh, also an admittance from them. This is uh, they're confessing this, and this is also an indication of the validity of their faith, the correctness of their belief. وأن من المسلمون ومن القاسطون. معناه يوجد بينهم مسلمون ويوجد بينهم كافرون فمن أسلم فأولئك تحروا رشدا هؤلاء الذين طلبوا الأولى طلبوا الهدى And in the 14th verse Allah revealed that those jinn said that among us are Muslims and among us are non-Muslims and as for the one who embraced Islam, then he has sought. And as for the one who embraced Islam, then he has sought guidance and he has sought what is, uh, what is correct, what is deserving to be sought. في نار جهنم وهذا دليل على أن الجن أيضا يتعذبون بالنار وإن كانوا خلقوا من النار. And in the fifteenth verse, Allah revealed that those jinn said, as for the non-believer, then he is tortured in hellfire. And this, in this verse, there is evidence that the jinn as well are tortured in hellfire. The non-believing jinn. Even though the origin of their forms and bodies is fire itself. And and Allah revealed in the 16th verse that if they had believed, if those seekers had believed and uh, fulfilled piety by fulfilling the obligations and avoiding the prohibitions, Allah the exalted would have bestowed upon them the goodness in this worldly life and the goodness in the hereafter. If those uh, blasphemous jinn had believed, then Allah the Exalted, um, if they had believed and uh, been pious by fulfilling their obligations and avoiding the sins, Allah would have given them the goodness of this life and the goodness in the hereafter. لنفتنهم فيه معناه لنختبرهم فيه لنبتليهم فيه بما أعطاهم الله سبحانه وتعالى من خير الدنيا And in the 17th verse, Allah revealed that uh, what he gave them, what he would have given them in this worldly life would have been a test for them. Testing them, 
are they yani, would they display the proper thankfulness to Allah or not? And as for those who turn away from the correct belief in the oneness of God and turn away from the belief in the Quran, Allah the Exalted will uh, inflict them with a very harsh punishment. وأن المساجد لله معناه مما أوحي للرسول عليه الصلاة والسلام أن المساجد لله فلا تدعو مع الله أحدا معناه لا تعبدوا مع الله أحدا And in the 18th verse Allah revealed that and, and the masjids were and the masjids uh, were built for the sake of Allah thus uh, he orders not to worship other than Allah وأنه لما قام عبد الله يدعوه كادوا يكونون عليه لبدا لما قام الرسول عليه الصلاة والسلام يدعو ربه يعبده كادوا يكونون عليه لبدا يعني يجتمعون جماعات جماعات And in the 19th verse Allah revealed that when the messenger of God صلى الله عليه وسلم uh, stood calling God the jinn gathered around him in, in big groups يعني groups after group. متعجبين جماعات جماعات متعجبين كيف يقتدي كيف يفعل الرسول عليه الصلاة والسلام وكيف يقتدي به أصحابه. They were amazed by the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, amazed by his doings and amazed how he was guiding some of those jinn. قل إنما أدعو ربي ولا أشرك به أحدا أدعو ربي وحده ولا أعبد غيره And in the 20th verse Allah revealed الرسول عليه الصلاة والسلام كأنه يقول لماذا تعجبون أنا أعبد الله تعالى and in the 20th verse is revealed that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that uh, that I worship my Lord exclusively and do not associate any partner with him. قُلْ إِنِّي لَا أَمْلِكُ لَكُمْ ضَرًّا وَلَا رَشَدًا خَالِقُ الضُّرِّ وَخَالِقُ النَّفَعْ هُوَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى and in the 20th, 21st verse, uh, Allah revealed that the Prophet said that well, what means that the creator of harm and the creator of benefit is Allah the Exalted only. And and in the 22nd verse, the Prophet clarified that he is a creation of Allah and that Allah has power over everything, saying that surely no one can save me from Allah's punishment if Allah will for me punishment. But of course, the prophets would never be punished. Walan ajida min dunihi multahada. Lan ajida malja'an min dunillah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he continues saying, I will not find any um, refuge from Allah the exalted. Uh, 
I will not find any refuge from Allah, the exalted. Yani, I cannot escape whatever Allah will for me. إِلَّا بَلَاغًا مِنَ اللَّهِ وَرِسَالَاتِهِ إِلَّا أَنَّنِي أُبَلِّغُ عَنِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى مَا أَرْسَلَنِي بِهِ يعني أنا فقط أفعل هذا أبلغ ما أرسلني الله به Rather I merely convey what Allah the Exalted ordered me to convey sent me with ومن يعص الله ورسوله فإن له نار جهنم خالدين فيها أبدا من يعص الله ورسوله بعدم الإيمان بهما And in the 23rd verse, Allah revealed that the one who disobeyed Allah and his messenger, that is, by not believing in them, and, uh, the person in that situation will have the punishment of Allah. Uh, he will never exit out of it. He will never leave hellfire. حتى إذا رأوا ما يوعدون فسيعلمون من أضعف ناصرا وأقل عددا حتى إذا رأوا العذاب يعني هؤلاء الذين ينكرون العذاب فسيعلمون عندما ينزل فيهم العذاب من هو أضعف ناصرا أو أقل عددا المؤمنون أم الكافرون and in the 24th, the 24th verse, Allah revealed that until those people who denied that there would be torture in the hereafter see it when they witness the torture, then they will know who, is, who has less support and smaller numbers uh, between the believers and the non-believers. <laughs> It means that the non-believer in that situation will have no one to support them. As for the believers, they will be supported. قل إن أدري أقريب ما توعدون أم يجعل له ربي أمدا لا أعلم هذا العذاب الذي حقا سيقع بكم هو قريب أم يطول بعد And Allah in the 25th verse revealed about the Prophet that he said that uh, that I do not know this punishment that certainly will occur is it uh, sooner or later? Uh, that is the that the Prophet was saying that he did not know uh, about those blasphemers, the punishment that was promised for them, will it occur uh, very soon or later on? ثم قال ربنا عالم الغيب فلا يظهر على غيبه أحدا الله سبحانه وتعالى هو يعلم الغيب والشهادة يعلم ما نعلمه ما نراه وما لا نراه وما يغيب عنا وما سيحصل بنا فلا يظهر على غيبه أحدا لا يطلع على غيبه أحدا من خلقه كل الغيب لا يطلعه لأحد And Allah revealed in the 26th verse that Allah is the one who knows the seen and the unseen He knows what we see and, what, and that which is hidden from us And he does not uh, give the knowledge of all of the unseen to anyone عالم الغيب فلا يظهر على غيبه أحدا لا يطلع كل الغيب أحدا من خلقه 
That is, Allah the Exalted does not give knowledge of all of the unforeseen to any creation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yutli'u ba'd al-ghayb li ba'd khalqih. Allah the Exalted gives knowledge of some of the unforeseen to some of his creations. Min al-malaika wa rusul Among the uh, angels, the angels uh, may, see, may receive from Allah knowledge of some, a portion of the unseen, and the sent prophets as well receive knowledge of a portion of the unseen, not all of the unseen. As for knowledge of all of the unseen, only Allah has that knowledge. Uh, but in this 27th verse Allah revealed uh, but those who Allah the exalted uh, sent among prophets Allah would uh, make for them angels that protect them angels protecting those prophets from the jinn, from the whispers of the jinn. Uh, and in the 28th verse Allah revealed and uh, 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 so that the prophet would know that Allah excuse me so that the prophet would know that angel Gabriel has conveyed to him what Allah revealed <laughs> Uh, or so that the Prophet would know that the Prophets that came before him also conveyed the message. And Allah the Exalted knows uh, that which is uh, with the Prophets and with the Angels. وأحصى كل شيء عددا أحاط علما بعدد خلقه فلم يخفى عليه شيء عدد القطر عدد الرمال حبات الرمال عدد الأوراق فكيف لا يعلم بعد ذلك ما عند الرسل من وحيه وكلامه and Allah the exalted his knowledge encompasses everything he knows the number of all of the creations he knows the number of the raindrops he knows the number of the grains of sand and the leaves of the trees so how would it be that he didn't know uh, the situations and circumstances of the prophets and messengers rather of course he knows <laughs> And we'll stop here, God willing, so that tomorrow we would begin with uh, mentioning the meanings of a new chapter, another chapter. And Allah the Exalted knows best.